Hi, David Illich, Sleep Consignment Centers, and we're here to talk a little bit today about the humble cockroach. Uh, cockroaches are fairly common allergens, and um, they, are, they are parts of the um, cockroach which um, are pretty potent uh, contributing factors to asthma and allergies. and um, and it is said that if there's a nuclear holocaust in the United, in the uh, world, the um, the cockroach will be the only thing left living because it has survived virtually every other major catastrophe uh, on the planet. Um, cockroaches are, are the oldest living insect around, and since that uh, also predates anything else from alligators and crocodiles um, and uh, probably sharks as well um, it's a uh, it's a pretty amazing organism uh, you'll have to check me on the sharks I'm not sure about that one but in addition to just looking dirty um, cockroaches are really difficult to get rid of they are um, able to get into places you'd never imagine they can shrink their body size down flatten down to get under almost uh, infinitesimally small cracks um, they tend to live anywhere that is damp and there are over 70 species of cockroaches in the United States alone um, they tend to um, have antigens or proteins that, um, throughout their body and, and uh, there's multiple different antigens, a couple in particular associated with asthma. Um, and, um, and so they're, um, they are uh, quite uh, a hardy and very difficult animal to get rid of. So let's talk about where these things can live and, and some sort of general guidelines. Um, you know, they say that for every cockroach you see, there's another 20 living in the walls or in, in the house that's uh, that are waiting till it gets dark so that you can't see them and if you see them during the day you probably have got a problem um, some tend to not necessarily live indoors they tend to breed in areas like kitchens and things that are damp and warm um, a lot of them are uh, um, live outdoors um, and for all over the place outside trees particularly pine trees um, tend to carry roaches um, but um, you um, may not even be aware that they're in the house uh, and the debris uh, there are antigens which are the triggering signal to our bodies to be allergic um, in everything from the live cockroaches to the, the feces or excrement to the shells that are left after they're dead um, and um, these animals are, um, are big trigger items for people with um, allergies and asthma if you happen to be sensitized to them. So, um, having said that, the, um, the uh, best uh, way to manage the allergies, of course, to Make certain you talk to somebody who's a professional exterminator to, to look for different ways to keep these out of the house. Uh, they can get into the insulation around your ovens. They can get into the insulation around your refrigerators, TVs, um, and a bunch of things that you wouldn't normally think of. They can live in the couches. They can live in the walls. Uh, and it can be a mess to get rid of them. It's, uh, they typically like damp areas, uh, bathrooms, etc. are very... Uh, helpful for uh, breeding these things uh, especially in the kitchen and um, it's probably best to deal with getting somebody who knows about uh, entomology to get rid of these things so um, you should get tested if you have uh, a thought that you might be allergic to them uh, if you have asthma certainly should get tested and checked or get treated uh, by someone who does that, an otolaryngologist or uh, a, an allergist or a family practice doctor or a pulmonologist that does this kind of thing. And hopefully this is helpful and we'll talk to you soon.